Now, Governor Huckabee, Lindsey Graham voted for the package. Uh, Ted Cruz voted against it. Marco Rubio was not there for the vote. Does the package have anything to do with the presidential election in Iowa, New Hampshire, and hereafter? Well, it certainly has uh, been a topic of discussion in Iowa today. I've I've done uh, four out of five events that I'm going to do in Iowa, headed to the fifth one. And uh, people are just furious. Uh, These are rank-and-file conservative Iowa Republicans. And these are people who keep up. And they just feel like that there is zero reason that they should go out and help Republicans get to the House or Senate, because uh, whether the Democrats or the Republicans are in power, it appears that the results are essentially the same. Even on the medical device tax, that was something that most of the Democrats felt like should be fixed. And the union pressure on the Cadillac tax was something that Democrats, at least many of them, would go for. So those are hardly Republican victories. Those could be considered uh, Democrat concessions as well. I just think we got nothing but embarrassed out of the whole process. So will it have any impact on the race then? Because I think probably all of your colleagues on the trail, with the exception of Lindsey Graham, who puts defense first, and there is a plus up in defense. And this is a a large plus up in defense. I believe $33 billion into uh, the Overseas Contingency Operations Fund and other uh, weapon systems. It's it's a good, it's a necessary lifting of the sequester. I think that's why Lindsey Graham voted for it, but I'll, I'll eventually catch up with him. Does it have any impact on on who people in Iowa are going to vote for? Because I don't think it does. Tell me if I'm wrong, Governor. It, it may not. I mean, I don't know that many of them are going to vote for Lindsey in Iowa anyway. Uh, he may try to say it was because of the defense measures. But look, Republicans should have pushed hard for that and separated it from the other things. I'm just saying that in a bill of this size, there should have been an ability to get more than we got, which was precious little. And it didn't even appear that there was a big attempt. Uh, when you have Planned Parenthood and Nancy Pelosi dancing in the streets over the bill, it can't be that good. The only other person it may hurt is Marco Rubio. I think the fact that he's not showing up for work, nobody in Iowa that I talk to who has a job gets to just not show up for work and still get a full paycheck. And I do think that may create some problems. And he can say, well, I would have voted against it. I was against it. But when you don't show up to vote against it, Uh, I think you have some, as Ricky Ricardo would say, you got some splaining to do.